here is our, um, our personal luxury world. You know, sometimes it's that small moment that you have to yourself in a beautiful bubble bath or just lighting a candle when you're reading a passage from your favorite book that inspires you. Those tiny little details that allow you to step out of your routine and experience a stillness and in that stillness you get in touch with some really, really beautiful things. So little things like handcrafted soap from uh, recipes in the south of France, um, home fragrance to create a beautiful aroma in your home, bubble bath, perfume, lip balm, solid perfume, and of course fairy dust. Those tiny little details that can turn an ordinary day into an extraordinary day. An extraordinary day. <laughs> And for those who like to be a little rough around the edges sometimes, <laughs> we have our pirate land. The other thing that I used to um, do when I was little is to dress up as a pirate. So I kind of had this like double agent thing going on. When I wasn't a fairy, I was a pirate. The first year that I was able to dress up for Halloween for school, my mom asked what I want to be. She was expecting, you know, a princess, a fairy, Wonder Woman, and when I said a pirate, she didn't quite believe me, but I insisted, and so she ripped up some jeans and drew, drew some markers on a shirt and got my father's little wooden um, sheath for his bowie knife and tied it around, and I swaggered into my little <laughs> kindergarten class and went, har, 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 and kind of just have never stopped. So some of the things that I love about Pirate World, again, taking the time to slow things down enough that we remember things that sometimes we're too busy to hear our internal dialogue. We have beautiful handmade Italian pens and inks. Um, the handwritten note is a dying art. I have some handwritten letters to my great-grandmother who passed away many, many years ago. And most of my adult life I've lived without her, but I have these little pieces of paper with these black squiggles on it that came from her hand when she was writing to me from her heart. Those squiggles of black on those pieces of paper, which are now fading, mean so much to me because it's that little, that little temporal connection that I still have to somebody that I love. And so we believe that's a beautiful way to, to create those magical, cherished memories, is to sit down and write a letter to somebody. Even if it's just a paragraph, I just want you to know how much you mean to me. Thank you so much for the way that you showed up in love for me today. Hey. I heard you did great on the spelling bee. It doesn't have to be anything, but just taking the time to actually write in your own handwriting might end up being the greatest treasure somebody has. And then, of course, every once in a while, we lose our way. It's part of, it's part of this life. It's how we learn. If we didn't fall down, then we'd never know what it's like to get up. So it's good to have a compass in your back pocket. As long as you get back up and you orient yourself to your true north, you'll end up getting where you're going. So just little reminders of what's really important. Finally, we have the rose room. I have been obsessed with roses my entire life, and I've always wanted to have a thousand rose bushes. Right now, I'm down to one. It's a little tiny one that I just bought at the supermarket because all of the others have died. But this way, I can have a thousand roses 365 days a year. The thing that I love so much about the symbology of the rose is there's a quote by, I don't even know who it's by, but it says, the hand that gives the rose has some of the fragrance that lingers on it. And I love what that reminds me that, that any good that you create in the world, it blesses your life as well. So this is the room where we just kind of let our soul breathe, indulge in that absolute exquisite femininity. We have tiny little tea sets, full type, full size tea sets, tea accoutrement, little treasures for babies, beautiful romantic flowing clothing. Just again, little tiny things, little reminders of the grace and the beauty that's possible in our lives when we create the space for it to come in. Right.